the beginning of the Book of Mormon, Story of America, very beginning, one Nephi. Nephi was the son of Ishmael. People must repent. The great city Jerusalem must be destroyed. He prayed on behalf of the people, and a pillar of fire dwelt on a rock before him. He had a vision, God on his throne, with numberless angels in the attitude of singing and praising God. He saw one descend out of the mist of heaven, his luster above the sun at noonday. He saw twelve others following him. They came down and went forth upon the face of the earth. The first came and gave his dad a book. In it said, Woe, woe unto Jerusalem! I have seen thy abominations. Jerusalem is to be destroyed, sword and prisoner, prisoners. Promise of eternal life to those that come to him. He made an abridgment on plates. The Jews mocked him because he testified of their wickedness. They were going to kill him. Says the Lord told him to go to the wilderness. He made an altar of stones and named the river Laman, which emptied into the fountain of the Red Sea. He told his children to keep the commandments. They murmured against Dad because he led them out of Jerusalem. They thought he was a fool. He, he left the inheritance of gold and silver. But the kids didn't know the dealings of God who created them. His own children wanted to kill him too. Nephew was large in stature, and he desired to know the mysteries of God. God visited him and softened his, softened his heart that he did believe in his dad and promised him a land, a land chosen above all other lands. Keep my commandments and be led to the land of promise. Warn your brethren will rebel against you, but you will be made ruler and teacher of thy brethren. In the day they rebel against me, I will curse them with a sore curse, that they shall have no power over thy seed. If they rebel, they will be a scourge to thy seed, to stir them up in the ways of remembrance. Dreamed a dream that thou shalt return to Jerusalem. The genealogy of forefathers was graven upon plates of brass. Go to the house of Laban, seek the records, Bring them into the wilderness. Lamont threw him out and called him a robber, threatened to slay him. They went into the wilderness to preserve our language of our fathers. They're going to go back to Jerusalem. And the Lord will deliver Laban into your hands. So Nephi said, let's go up against Jerusalem, be faithful in keeping the commandments. The Lord is mightier than Laban, and tens of his thousands. Let's be strong like Moses. He spoke to waters, and they parted, and armies of pharaohs were drowned. Our armies of Pharaoh were drowned. Let us go up. God is able to destroy Laban as the Egyptians. Nephi crept toward the house of Laban, not knowing beforehand, and found Laban drunk with wine. Nephi drew his sword with a pure gold hilt, blade of precious steel. He said, I never killed a man before. He said, Behold, the Lord has delivered him into your hands. I know he was trying to kill me anyway. He would not hearken to the Lord. Behold, the Lord slayeth the wicked to bring forth righteous. It is better that one man should perish than the whole nation should perish in unbelief. Says the law in engraven plates, I obeyed the voice of the Lord and cut off his head with the sword. 
then he dressed himself up in the dead man's clothing and he went to the treasury of Laban. He saw the servants with keys. He pretended that he was Laban to go in. The servant was at meat in the house of Laban and was partying with the elder Jews. Carried the plates to the to the brethren outside the walls. The servant thought he was going to go inside. The servant was scared. He was going to flee. I, Nephi, large in statue, I seized him. So he didn't flee. The guard of the treasury. This is Nephi seizing, grabbing the guard of the treasury. Nephi says, Give your servant an oath. He need not fear. He should be like a free man unto us if he would go down to the wilderness with us. He's saying the Lord commanded him to do this thing. Zoram was the name of the servant and he made an oath that he would tarry with us from that time forth. Zoram, the servant, was guarding the treasury. He fleed with Nephi from the Jews that were trying to kill them. Zoram, and they had these plates with them. They snuck into the treasury and got these plates. Zoram made this oath, and they stopped worrying about him. They took the plates of brass... Uh, the printing, I was thinking maybe printing press even maybe. After they came down into the wilderness of our father, whose people were in the wilderness, his mother Sariah was exceedingly glad because she had previously mourned because of them. Sarah said, Behold, Thy led us away from the land of our inheritance. Mother complained against father. He said, look, I tarried at Jerusalem. I would have perished with my brethren, but behold, I have obtained the land of promise. I know that the Lord will bring my sons out of the hands of Laban. These words he used to comfort Sarah while they journeyed in the wilderness to the land of Jerusalem to obtain records of the Jews. The mother was comforted. Now 